So in this video, we're going to process some C-sharp code with Win Translator. We'll extract information into a dictionary list and import it into Win A and D, and then we can generate UML style class diagrams to represent that code. So we'll start by launching Win Translator. Within our Win Translator uh, window, we're going to create a new project. And we'll select a folder that has the uh, source code that we're going to process as our uh, project folder. So if we go under Documents, Win Translator, let's use this uh, Win Translator folder right here to put our project files in. And this Airplane folder is the one that actually has our C sharp source code. So we'll just select that folder uh, for our project. We're going to locate our code folders. And so I'm going to select that as the root of our code folders. And we're going to choose C sharp. Right there, C-sharp code to class models. And so we'll be scanning those files and those folders for this file extension. Those are the files we're going to process. And let's go ahead and build our project. So we'll click OK. And we've processed the source code generated information into a dictionary list. Uh, we have kind of a, an outline of what's been done and what the next steps in the process would be. So now we can close this and we're going to launch WinAND to bring that uh, information in. So within WinAND, we're going to create a new project and we're just going to call it Airplane. And for the folder of our project, we'll just select uh, the WinAND Airplane folder. We're going to create a dictionary document and a class document to make sure our language is set to C sharp. Go ahead and generate the documents. And now we can open up that project. And so you can see we have our two documents created here. We'll start by importing our dictionary information. So we'll do that by doing report, import, dictionary, import from disk. And here we see within our airplane folder, we have the dictionary RTP file that was created when uh, Win Translator processed our source code. And now we have populated uh, the dictionary information here with all the information from which we can generate our class document. So now that we have our dictionary information, we're going to generate our class document. And we'll do that by just doing a report, generate class model from dictionary. And we'll give the diagram the name main. And we're going to select all these classes from the dictionary to generate to this diagram. So let's just do a select all. And there's some other options as far as how the classes are spaced apart, what kind of relationships you want to show and other various things. But we'll just click OK to kind of go with the defaults here. And now you can see that it's generated a class diagram from the dictionary information. So for each class, we have a box, we have the name of the class, we have its attributes and its operations, and we also have some relationships, lines drawn between some of the classes. So to summarize, we used Win Translator to scan a collection of source code, extract the, the information, and import it into WinAND to populate the dictionary, and from that we were able to generate a set of class diagrams. In this particular project, it was just a single class diagram, but if ping pong the size of your source code and the type of language, for example, in Java, when your source code is brought in, 
it can be partitioned into different namespaces and then you can generate class diagrams in various ways. For example, based on a specific namespace, you could generate an individual diagram.